Hi everyone, it's Mrs Bradley here and today we're going to do some yoga. So now there's a few really important things before we start yoga. So make sure you're wearing something nice and comfortable. You can even wear your pyjamas if you're at home. And make sure there's nothing that you can hit your head on if you're lying down. So make sure you've got a really safe space around you. Okay. Now another really important thing that we learn in yoga is to use our nose for breathing. Sometimes we use our mouth for breathing. Sometimes we need to and that's fine. But we need to practice just using our nose. Let's try that now. So breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your nose. Now let's do that again and really try and take as much breath in. Fill up those lungs as much as you can when you breathe in. And breathe out through your nose. Fantastic, well done. Now our first position today is our on guard position. So just like guards that protect the queen and the palace, we're going to protect the people that we love all around us. Maybe your family, your friends, your pets, anybody that you know. So we're going to stand nice and tall and you're going to lift up your toes and you're going to try and stretch out your toes just like I'm doing with my fingers too. And you're going to push your toes down into the ground. Now that keeps us feeling nice and steady, nice and strong. I'm going to stand up nice and tall and bring your shoulders back and down like a guard. And we're going to take one of those deep breaths again. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your nose. Now this time close your eyes and imagine those people that you're protecting and keeping safe that you love. Breathe in and breathe out. Well done. We can use our breath to calm ourselves down if we're feeling a little bit angry, if we're feeling a little bit nervous, or even a little bit anxious. So always remember to come back to your breath and take those nice, long, deep, slow breaths in and out through your nose. Okay, we're going to do a little warm up now. So we're going to imagine that we're a volcano about to erupt. Okay, so we're going to stay in our on guard position and very slowly we're going to stop wiggling our toes and our feet. And then we're going to start shaking our legs, all those muscles in our legs. And then we're going to start shaking our bodies and our arms and our fingers until everything is shaking and the volcano's getting ready to erupt and go faster and faster and faster. I think it's about to erupt. And we're going to touch our fingers down to the floor. We're going to do the biggest jump and we're going to go whoosh. Now we're going to do it again. Start with your toes and your legs. Make everything shake and your body and your arms and your fingers until your whole body. Now go faster, go faster, go faster. It's ready to erupt and touch your fingers to the floor and a bigger jump. Whoosh! I'm going to do it one more time. Start with your feet, your legs. Let's see if we can get everything shaking now. And your arms. Shake, 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 shake. As much as you can, you can turn around. Shake, down to the floor, biggest jump ever, whoosh. Now put your hand on your heart. Is it beating faster? Mine is. Oh, well done. And that's really good when we're doing exercise. Now we're going to slow it down using our breath that we've just learnt. So stand back in your on guard position. You may feel a little bit out of breath. Take that deep breath in through your nose, fill up your lungs and breathe out through your nose. And again, breathe in and out. You can do one more. And out through your nose. Now put your hand on your heart. 
heart again. My heart slowed down again. I've used my breath to slow down my heart rate and now I feel calmer again. So remember you can always do that if you're feeling any of those feelings that makes your heart rate quick, quicken. So always remember to come back to the breath. Okay, well done everybody. Now today we're going to go on a bit of an adventure. Now just imagine we're in the rainforest and you're with your grown-ups. We've had such a lovely time, but we've been so excited exploring. Uh-oh, we've lost our grown-ups. So now we need to find our way back to them. Okay, now luckily for us, we've got a backpack. And in our backpack, we've got some binoculars. So take out.